Question 1. If x equals 1 plus root 2, then x squared plus 1 on x squared equals a, b, c, or d. What we'll do here, we'll square that first. So I've got 1 plus square root of 2, all squared. That's what x squared equals. That's equal to 1 plus twice the product, 2 root 2. And the square of that just becomes 2, which equals 3 plus 2 root 2. So this becomes 3 plus 2 root 2 plus 1 over 3 plus 2 root 2. So what I'll do, I'll rationalize this by multiplying numerator and denominator by the conjugate. That's 3 minus 2 root 2 over 3 minus 2 root 2. Okay, so this now becomes 3 plus 2 root 2 plus, or well 1 times that, just 3 minus 2 root 2, all over, now 3 times 3 is 9. Now this becomes 2 squared is 4 times 2 is going to be 8, so that's minus 8. So that just becomes 1, because when you add these two together, it's going to get the answer 6, which is A. Number 2. The solution is 2 for over the absolute value of 2x minus 1 less than or equal to R, A, B, C, or D. Now, because you've got an absolute value here, you can multiply both sides by it without affecting the inequality sign because that's obviously positive. So that's what you would do in this particular case. So now I'll rewrite that as 4 is less than or equal to 2 absolute value of 2x minus 1. Dividing through by 2, you get 2 is less than or equal to 2x minus 1. Now I'll just change that around the other way. Okay. Now we know that the absolute value of x is greater than or equal to something like a. Now that x must be greater than or equal to a or x must be less than or equal to minus a, provided this is a constant here. So what we're going to do now is just do that. Just write 2x minus 1 is greater than or equal to 2, or 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to negative 2. This means 2x is going to be greater than or equal to 3, x is going to be greater than or equal to 3 over 2. Here, 2x is going to be less than or equal to minus 1, x is be less than or equal to minus a half. Okay, and of course that is d. Number 3, x over 1 minus x plus 1 over x minus 1 when simplified becomes a, b, c, or d. Now there's a nice little trick which you should remember with this. Now if you look at this, these two here, they're very close, aren't they? So I'm going to rewrite that x minus 1 as being equal to minus 1 plus x. Now I can take a minus 1 out the front and write that as 1 minus x. And that will yield the same result. So here, I've got that as x over 1 minus x plus 1 over minus 1 outside of 1 minus x. That minus sign, I'm going to move up the top and across to there. So that really becomes x over 1 minus x minus 1 over 1 minus x. Now the denominator is the same, so we can write that as x minus 1 over 1 minus x. But x minus 1 is this, so it's minus 1 outside of 1 minus x over 1 minus x. These cancel down, they give me 1, and that gives me a negative 1 as my answer, which was b. Number 4. The solution is to x plus 1 over x minus 1 
less than or equal to 1 R, A, B, C, or D. Now we'll do the same as we did before. We'll multiply both sides by X minus 1 all squared. So what I have, I'll just write this out again. X plus 1 over X minus 1 less than or equal to 1. And different colour. So you can see what's going on. X minus 1 all squared times X minus 1 all squared. This just now becomes X minus 1 times X plus 1 less than or equal to X minus 1 all squared. So that's 0. Take it across. All squared minus X minus 1 X plus 1. Now I'll take it across the other side. So it becomes X minus 1 all squared minus X minus 1 X plus 1. So that's going to be greater than equal to 0. Now taking out the X minus 1 as a common factor, we get X minus 1 outside of X minus 1. Now I'll just do a put a bracket there for a minute. Minus X plus 1, just a safety thing there. Of course, you can easily make a mistake with the sign. So it becomes X minus 1 times X minus 1 minus X minus 1. Okay, so this becomes minus 2 and sort of X minus 1 greater than or not. Dividing this by negative 2 will change the inequality sign around the other way. We get that. So x is less than or equal to 1. You might be tempted to look back here. What do we see? We can't divide by 0. So you can't have the equal sign on it. So just x is less than 1. It's your final answer, which was d. Just watch that step there. Just always check that. It's very easy to overlook it.